Y'all, I swear I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry or I'm gonna scream. Couldn't make a couldn't make a video in the in the King Walmart in the nail polish. No, because they have the same problem basically every other Walmart has. Loud music, and there are no labels on the fronts of the displays to show you where stuff goes. So the nail polish is just stuck wherever. You can't organize it if you don't know where it goes. So, but I don't know until I go to a location what their nail polish setup is. I don't know what I'm dealing with. I have to actually go there and look at it. So the King Walmart will not work. I did get a night. I got another one of these Sally Hansen hydrating foot masks while I was there. But unfortunately, there won't be in a nail polish video again today either. <sighs> That's six Walmarts I've been to now to try to do this. I've got more. I, I, I have some more that I'm going to try. But while Walmart is now apparently choosing to just leave their nail polish unlabeled, and it's just the wild wild west you just put it wherever you want to i don't know it looks very junky it looks it looks like crap why they would voluntarily leave their nail polish in all of these stores for so long looking like that i don't know i i don't understand what they're doing because nothing else in the store is like that you're not going to go to any other part of the store and see that where there's just, there are no labels, there's nothing, and shit is just wherever. You just kind of put it on the shelf wherever you want to. Just the nail polish. And it's been that way, well, I mean, I can't speak for this Walmart because this is the first time I've ever been here. But the Taj Mahal Mart, the fancy one in High Point, has been that way for over a year. And I guess when they restock the nail polish, they just put it wherever they want to. It's just all completely mixed up. It's just chaos, it's just bedlam. I'm convinced that somewhere out there is a Walmart that has not done that. I have yet to find it. And you know, you can say, well, can't you organize nail polish in other stores? What I've run into is other stores, nail polish sections don't need organizing. They're always organized. They're always perfectly fine. And there's nothing I can do for them. So there's nothing I can do. They don't need me to organize because it's already organized. I got my hopes up. I did. I got excited. I thought this was going to be a good one. Because, I don't know, somebody said, come try the King Walmart. You should come here. Well, I did, but it's the same problem I've had in Mount Airy and High Point and Ashboro and Ramsour and the Greensboro locations. It's all the same. I don't, I don't understand it. There's got to be a reason, and I don't know what it is. I, I have been organizing nail polish in Walmart for a long time, and just before this last year, I've never seen it look like this. And I don't know why you would, con you, why would you make a conscious decision to have just the nail polish look like crap because it's just thrown wherever. It's they're just putting it in there, however, however, it doesn't matter. It's just chaos. Dogs and cats living together. I mean, it's why. I have yet to hear a reason that makes sense to me why they would do that. So anyway, I'm gonna go back home and uh, I guess I'll try another one another day. I can't do it today, I don't have time. I don't have time to go to another one now. But hey, at least I got a foot mask. Usually, when I go looking for those Sally Hansen foot masks, most stores only seem to ever have one. If they have any, they only have one. So, I did get another Sally Hansen foot mask, which was great. I love them. Oh, there's an old truck. It's an old Chevrolet pickup truck. It's really old. It's like a 50s model. Anyway, yes, I, I love those foot masks. The only problem is they're kind of hard to open, and the instructions don't really show you how to open them. So I was afraid I was damaging the, the mask, but 
yeah, they're kind of hard to open. But once you figure out how to open it, and it's cold and slimy, you stick your foot down in it and then seal it up. It has this little adhesive tab at the ankle that you're supposed to attach. But be careful not to get any of that cold, slimy stuff on your fingers because if you do, and then you go to touch the sticky tab, the sticky tab will no longer be sticky and you can't seal it off at the ankle. I discovered that with one of them. One of them didn't seal because I got sticky, the, the cold, slimy stuff on it and, and it was no longer sticky after that. But anyway, I did get another foot mask, so that was cool. I'm always happy about that. I can find, I'll, I'll try to find a bright side of anything. And hey, I know something now I didn't know. The King Walmart is not a good one for nail polish organization. So I did learn something and I got a foot mask. So it's it's all good. It's all good. I'm gonna go home and uh, see if see if I can uh, get anything done, if there's anything I need to do. And my stomach's growling, so I will eat some lunch when I get there. It's about, well, let's see. My house from here is about 45 minutes away, well, roughly, depending on traffic. So I've got plenty of time to think long thoughts or listen to the radio or something. I don't know. Yeah, boy, y'all have the fast food restaurants around here. I swanny you do. But anyway, I don't really have anything else to say. Boy, I was really proud of the way that last video ended. That timing was absolutely perfect, and I can't really beat that. I can't really do a follow-up video that compares with that perfect ending. I got to the exit right when I was basically done with my story, so that was really cool. Anyway, I hope, again, that you are having a good day. I hope you continue to have a good day. I'm going to drive home and listen to the radio or something, but I will see y'all again really soon. <laughs>